inter- I've been Good morning, Buzz, you yeah. five or six times. With buddies now. And I missed you on Big Morning Buzz last week. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. How did it go? With, did Kerry interview you? Uh, no, no, I just played. Oh, you just played? I just played, yeah. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, since, since what happened last time with the whole chair-throwing incident, like, no one really wants to interview me anymore. Uh, yeah, I, well, yeah. I, well, understandably, though. Yeah, sometimes that gets mad. <laughs> but you, you don't show that to the, the public persona. No, no, it's kind of, it's, it, there's a little switch that just goes, and I just, yeah, just Have blow. you controlled that yet? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm seeing ther- oh, therapists. Oh, good, good, moment, good, yeah. all right. Yeah. Uh, right. Right now we have Lego House. From you, yes. And I should explain to everyone that you broke in the UK uh, way before you broke in the US. So this video is actually two years old. Yeah. Although it's well, only been no, on the no. VH1 Top 20 Video what? Countdown for two weeks. It came out in 2011, right? Yeah, yeah. But to the to the end. So it's okay. almost a year and a bit old. It's not. It's don't not. Me, don't it's me, not. I'm sorry. It's not getting on. Okay. Not, yeah. Yeah. That chair. Yeah. So now, now this is embarrassing because uh, the first time I Googled you, yeah. I saw the Lego House video, and I thought Rupert Grint who is in the Harry Potter, Potter movies, was actually you. Do you know what? It's an easy mistake to make. There have been so many people. I was, I, I, I was saying earlier that um, my first three music videos I appeared in, I wasn't, uh, I, that I'd made, I wasn't in. So everyone thought that so they thought the same I was thing. someone else. Yeah. Well, and then, I mean, they knew he was Rupert Grint. Well, maybe. Yeah, but they thought Rupert Grint had changed his name to <laughs> my name and then started off his own solo career. And then in your fourth video over in the UK, you actually appeared in it. Yeah, it was, well, my videos are a bit odd. So my fourth video is me getting drunk with a cat. We got we got a, an, an acting cat. It wasn't like a prop cat. It was a proper cat. Got, prop cat, prop cat. Yeah, you yeah. you and the cat got drunk. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, no, I was I was on the on the music video because obviously just you can't. confused everyone you at home. But <laughs> You can't drink all day. So I started off with non-alcoholic beer. Which I, I know it's a bad advertisement, which you should never drink. It's it's just awful, awful, okay. dreadful. Uh, and then and then I went on to apple juice, and I had to down a pint of apple juice about six times. That's not good. Like okay. like <laughs> apple juice is good for you. Six pints of apple juice in one go, not so good. And I'm just there kind of clutching my stomach for half the shoot. And yeah, you should try it sometime. So six apple juice is worse than six beers. Yeah, like. Thinking about it, right? Because drinking beer, you drink beer by the pint. When do you drink anything by the pint? That's a lot of liquid. This is this is a good point. A lot of liquid. And when you release that video in the U.S., we can just can this portion of the interview and show it for sure on the VH1 I don't, Top 20 Video Countdown. I, I don't know if that video is going to end up being released in the U.S. because I find that people don't really want to hear about people getting drunk over here. Because you. Plus, my fan base is mostly under 21, so they won't be able to be like, yo, I relate hey, to that. Hey, you know? let's, let's get to this video. Okay, yeah, sorry. Let's concentrate sorry. on this one. Oh, real quick, I have an Ed Sheeran lookalike right now. See? Yeah, because you know in this video there's a guy stalking you? This guy's actually stalking you in real life. I think he's a bit more attractive, to be honest. Than Rupert Grint. Yeah, yeah no. I've been stalking you since your show in uh, Jersey with Taylor Swift. <laughs> That was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yesterday. Okay. And he found and a piece of gum that you chewed. And left under the table. And he was table. chewing it this morning. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. you yeah. Right. So would you like to introduce Lego House it's number 14 this week? Okay. Um, See, sometimes art imitates life. Or life imitates art. This yeah. is Ed Sheeran on the VH1 Top 20 Countdown. And this is my song Lego House at number 14. Would you like to say yes? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> took us a while to get to that video. Yeah, but I, ju- I just think we have good chemistry. That's um, yeah, since that, t- that time. It's, it's tough to keep us in like two minute segments. We should have like a, a half hour show where things can breathe. Or we should just go out to dinner sometime. Hey, all right. I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm down. I'm down. If, if you're asking me out, yeah, I mean, I, like a cu- couple of meals in, but you'll find out I'm, 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 I'm a gentle lover. OK, I, I look forward to that. Uh, right now, we <laughs> it's going to take us a while to get to this video. Uh, right now, we've got a Taylor Swift video. Yes. Fitting because you are touring with Taylor Swift on yes. the Red Tour. Yeah, I, be- I believe I am. Yeah, how's yeah. that going? It's all right. It's going well. Yeah. yeah. This this video actually is one of my favorite performances in, in the show. Her, her and all her dancers go, all, they do all the dance moves and stuff. Even I can't, more I can't, so I can't dance. than the one that you perform. The, uh, yeah, well, I perform it just after it. So I, I get to watch it every single night from close 
proximity. Um, but yeah. Because you wrote It's Everything Has Changed. With Taylor, yeah. I wrote that with on Taylor. On the Red Album. The Red Album. You also have a red tattoo. Can we see that? I have, I have a lot of tattoos, now, did yeah. did you get that red tattoo for, for Taylor Swift? For the tour, Swift, yeah. For the, the, for the tour, because it's, it's six months of my life. All, all, all my tattoos add up to different um, points in my career thus far, and six months is quite a long part of the career. Plus, what I worked out is that every single gig when I'm playing, people hold up these Ed signs, uh -huh. and I'm like, oh, isn't that nice? Like, Taylor's fans have obviously brought along there, but all they're doing is taking off the art. So I'm saying, if I fall out with Taylor. Ah, yeah? there you go. Ed. Ed, you're Just in case I forget genius. my name. You're a genius. Or, no. or you can take off the D and it's, no, it doesn't really work. Doesn't work that way. And the go, what's the go for? Uh, Was it's... the go there before the red? No, I, I have a song called Touch and Go um, that I've just written. Um, yeah. We could, you know what? We could have a whole show Red about your tattoos. Now I'm more interested Ed's about the tattoos and the music video we're going to throw to. Rego. Because that's like a Heinz ketchup. Heinz ketchup, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, that's from Pittsburgh, Fresh my Prince hometown. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to cancel the VH1 Top 20 Video Countdown this week and just concentrate solely on Ed Sheeran's tattoos. And I could even go up further. We were supposed to interview in Pittsburgh earlier in the year, but that didn't happen. And we could have talked about Heinz oh. ketchup then. But right now we have a video to get to. 22 from Taylor Swift. Would you like to introduce it? It's number 13 this week. This is T-Swizzle with 22 <laughs> on the VH1 Top 20 Video Countdown. It feels like a perfect night. Whew. All right, let's talk about business now. You've been getting me off track, keeping me off my game today, Ed. I'm sorry. New album. Yes. When are you working on it? When's it coming out? Because I thought that it was mostly done, but apparently it's not. Well, I've done around 30 songs for it. Oh, so if wow. you wanted it released tomorrow, it could be. But I want to keep adding songs to the point where I can't add any more. You know, and it, it, it's going to be hard to hard to choose from. I'm thinking it'll probably come out early next year. Okay. I have to deliver it by the end of this year, though. So I've got a bit of time. Because the thing is, like I said earlier in the interview, you broke in the UK and then you broke in the US. So you've been supporting Plus for a long time. Yep, long time. We started Primo One Plus in May 2011, wow. so that was two years ago. Yeah. yeah. So you're ready to bust out some new stuff. Uh, yeah. I mean, when you're playing on stage, you're like, okay, I, you know what, I, I gotta, I gotta do some new stuff. I don't know, because I think, I think I've been playing the songs that I play on stage for so long that it, it, they felt comfortable to play. Whereas the, the new songs, I think I'd be very nervous about playing them for the first time. Okay. We'll, we'll see. Now, are you going to record some of the album in Nashville, I heard? Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've been demoing all the songs in Nashville. I don't know if I'm going to record it in Nashville, but all the songs are being like, put together there to begin with. And what is the flavor of this new album? It could if you go, can give us a, a peek, it could go, a taste. It could go either way. It could go very, very acoustic ballads, or it could go very, very uh, acoustic hip-hop. So, yeah, okay. there's a... Yeah, either, like you need me. You need me, man. I don't yeah, need you. yeah, yeah. But a bit more. A bit. If if you were to mix, you need me. Correct with, me. Correct with, me. With the A team, so it would have that oh, kind okay. of emotional sentiment, but still have the head, okay. the head nod, because everyone needs the head nod. Or oh. what I've worked out from being in America is uh, American producers, American hip hop producers, mm -hmm. when they like a song, they'll head nod. When oh, yeah. they really like a song, it's the backwards head nod. <laughs> it's a little twitch. You know, because Pharrell does that a and lot. It's the backwards head nod and. And the more displeased they look, the, be the better it is. So they can just be like that, <laughs> nodding. But the more they're like... <laughs> this is, that this means is it's a good. comedy routine. That's genius. No, no, seriously. No, I mean, it's genius. It's, 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 it's spot on. The, 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 more, the more they look like they dislike it, the more they, they actually like it. I, 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 was in, I was in with the producer the other night, and like, he was just like, yo, so plumb your songs, man. And I was like, okay. So I stuck on a song, and within the first minute, he was just going... <laughs> And I, 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 I was like, I, I didn't know whether, whether he liked it or didn't like it, but he wasn't telling me to turn it off, so it was fine. And afterwards, he finished, he's like, yeah, that's dope, man, that's dope. And I, yeah. So, Ed, that does it. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming in. Uh, at number 12 this week, here is a quick look at It's Time from Imagine Dragons.